Good morning. We will pay attention to the balance sheet today. When we look at the trial balance at the end of June 2016, we see the nominal account section and the balance sheet account section. When we complete the income statement, we only look at the accounts in the nominal account section because all these income and expenses will be shown in the income statement so that we can determine what is the difference between the income and expenses to determine the profit. If we have to record the balance sheet, we only look at the balance sheet accounts and not the nominal account. So it's only the assets, liabilities and equity that's in the balance sheet section that will be recorded in the balance sheet. The balance sheet will record all the balances on the last day of the financial year. Therefore, you will say balance sheet on 30 June 2016 because it's not the amount for the whole year, the total income or total expenses. It's the balance on the last day of the year. You always have to show the name of the business and the financial statement that you're completing. So when people look at this statement, they must know exactly whose books is this that they're looking at and what is the balance sheet. The balance sheet is divided in two sections. The top part is the assets. The bottom part is equity and liabilities. Now, at the beginning of the year, we learned that assets equals owner's equity plus liabilities. So there's my assets at the top and at the bottom is my equity and liabilities. So therefore, the top part, the assets, must equal the owner's equity plus liabilities because this is actually my accounting equation. The assets are divided in two sections, the non-current assets and the current assets. Non-current assets are assets that will remain the same for more than a year in the future. So that is the tangible or fixed assets, or you can also call it property, plant and equipment. If there was a fixed deposit, it would also fall under this fixed assets because it will form part of your non-current assets. In the balance sheet, you don't write equipment, vehicles, land and buildings. You call the total amount as fixed assets and you indicate what is your fixed assets because in this exercise we don't have a fixed deposit my total non-current assets will be the same as my fixed assets. Current assets are assets that belong to the business that will change in a regular basis. So first of all, the inventory. Every day when we sell inventory, inventory decreases. If we buy inventory, inventory increases. Trade and other receivables are the amounts that you will receive in the future because you sold goods on credit to debtors. So my debtors control will fall under trade and other receivables that will cause an inflow of money in the future. Cash and cash equivalents is all the money that we have in the business that is available immediately. So that is my bank account or my checkbook account. My, the petty cash that I have in a tin and the cash flow that's in the tools to be able to give change to our customers. And if I add up all my current assets, I will get my total current assets, non-current assets plus current assets will give me my total assets. In the equity and liability side, we will show the owner's equity. The amount that will be recorded in the balance sheet will be the amount that the owner contributed as capital plus the profit for the year because he is entitled to the profit less the drawings. 
non-current liabilities is liabilities that will be paid back longer than a year in the future. So that is, for instance, a loan that we obtain to buy a car or furniture or equipment. And mortgage bond is where you gave your house as security to obtain the loan. In this exercise, we only have one loan. So my total non-current liabilities will be the same. Current liabilities is money that will be paid out within 12 months. Trade and other payables will be the amount that you owe to creditors because you bought goods on credit. If you have a bank overdraft, then the bank overdraft will be shown here under current liabilities and we will then not show the bank amount under cash and cash equivalents. So it's very important to distinguish whether the bank is a favorable balance or an unfavorable balance. If it's a favorable balance, you show it under cash and cash equivalents. That means the bank account has a debit balance. If it's an unfavorable balance, it means that you owe money to the bank. Then it can't be shown as a current asset. Then it will be shown as a current liability, bank overdraft, that means you wrote out more checks than the amount of money that you deposited in the bank.